We're here at Citrix Synergy and we're visiting with the Forward Networks booth. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Forward Networks and what you're showing here at Citrix Synergy? Yeah, well Forward Networks is in this emerging space of intent-based networking. What that means is solutions that really keep your intended policies aligned with your network design, your network implementation. And if there's any compliance issues or policy breaches or application requirements that aren't being met, we will immediately identify these and help remediate or find the source of the problem um, to fix those issues. So we were founded about five years ago and we're located in Palo Alto, California. And what uh, specific problems do you solve in the uh, Citrix ecosystem that... Yeah, well, so what we're doing in our solution is we're building a mathematically correct model of the network. We are able to then analyze policies against this behaviorally accurate design that we've built and assess whether your implementation is in alignment with those policies. So Citrix is absolutely one of the technologies and solution uh, vendors that we correctly model because a lot of our customers have Netscaler appliances and other Citrix devices in their network. So we have to understand how these devices perform um, based on their configuration files that we analyze and how they'll forward traffic and what rules they're applying um, inside the network in order to, to um, show these end-to-end -end policies and how it's matching the uh, the network engineer's intent, if you will. And is, do you have something here at the uh, booth that we can take a look at, maybe yeah, a demo? Yeah, I think the best way to understand the technology is to really get a, a good look at the demo, so I'm going to turn it over to Fabrizio for that. Okay. So what are we going to take a look at? Yeah, so what I'm going to show you here is the uh, Foral platform that is running right now from the AWS uh, uh, cloud. And after the platform that discovered all the devices, automatically it's going to build the topology of the network that most of our customers are using for documentation, right? So in the demo, we have two different data centers, one on the left and one on the right. They are connected through an NPLS transport. And on the upper side, you will see an AWS VPCs. So we'll model all the networks on-prem and in the cloud at the same time. And after we have collected, parse and normalized all the data, we are running applications on top of it, with the topology being one of them. The other main one is search. Search essentially allows you to look for any information on the network itself, for VLAN, for VRS, or what not. And you can also do path analysis. So when you do path analysis, essentially you are providing source and destination IP address and ports, and it's going through the networks and providing all the different paths that that network can go through. And when you select one of them, provides information on the hop by hop for the specific path. Information about whether it's a layer two or layer three, VXLAN, VNI in this case, and so forth. The other beauty is that it's able to provide a correlation between underlay and overlay networks. In this case, we have a VXLAN connection. If you just click on the underlay, it's providing all the information about the underlay that is supporting the overlay. And going back to the search, we see that here the traffic will be dropped in this specific firewall. But we don't know what's happening in case you change this firewall. There might be other firewalls or ACL down the road. So in a click of a button, we can automatically disable all the ACLs and all the firewall policies on the network to verify that the routing is fine. And if we check for all the devices with a strike right here, it means that there are some policies that would drop the traffic. So very quickly we can identify which are the different touch points in the network that we need to modify in order to have the path that we are selecting in order to have it up and running, right? So in a click of a button we can verify so that we build all the changes in one shot and we are confident enough to go in production with these changes. We also can verify the behavior of the network. And we can do it through the, what we call checks. Some of them are built in with the platform. They're called the predefined checks. And there are some about BGP, like a BGP router ID, could be on uh, MTU consistency or link speed consistency. They are built in, in the platform. So you can uh, just uh, select all the checks and they will run automatically every time that you'll uh, collect information from the network. Or customer can build their own that we call intent checks, where you can verify whether they're 
there is a no connectivity in between net to networks or there is a connectivity between one network and a specific a critical application. We can filter for those one that are pass or failed, and then we can drill down maybe on this one that is a security audit. So if I click here, it provides all the information about the specific check, so how the network is behaving. In this specific case, I'm checking to, uh, for information about uh, traffic from one device in the data center in Atlanta, going to a virtual IP, and there should be only the 443 port configured. And in this case, it's failing because there, is, uh, there are other ports. So I can uh, use the platform to go and check whether the port is configured. And in this specific case, uh, the port that is uh, being configured is SSH in this uh, uh, firewall in the uh, Atlanta data center. And I can also use the platform to uh, go in a sandbox that live in the platform itself and uh, simulate a change. So in this case, what I want to do, I want to just edit the sandbox, go through the configuration, and check uh, where the SSH configuration lives. Right? And when I find the configuration, I can uh, delete the line, and I can run uh, the, uh, the check again. Right? And in this case, what I can do, I can uh, uh, modify the change and I run the mathematical model again and make sure that uh, the, uh, the check now is passing. So this is the real run that I need to change in order to pass the check. And we also provide other, other uh, capabilities like a diff. Since we collect information in one point in time, we can make the diff between two different snapshots. And providing information about, uh, I'm going to show you in a second, information about which devices have been added or removed. In this case, uh, two net scalers have been added and one uh, uh, Cisco firewall. I can check information, of course, about uh, which uh, configuration have been changed for every device, VLANs, ACLs, and even IP routes. So which are the IP routes that have been added, removed, or modified, and also providing information about uh, where the change has happened. So it's a very powerful platform that allows you to in a dual uh, network uh, verification across a uh, multi-vendor uh, uh, environments, both in the cloud and on-prem. So where can they go if they want to find out more information about forward networks? So there's a variety of places that uh, one can go, most of which are on our website. There is uh, an actual trial of the full enterprise flat platform that they can have for 90 days, which is awesome. They can test it out in a lab environment or they can submit a demo request or info at forwardnetworks.com. will reach me um, and we'll help them out. Great. Thanks for taking the time to speak with VMblog. Thank, Thank you so much.